Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to sit and talk to you guys about some of the trends that I'm excited for or that I've been really seeing um, as of lately. So before I get into this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about one of the trends that I'm actually so excited and like ready for for summer 2019 and that is satin anything. Satin dresses, satin skirts. I don't know know so much about satin like t-shirts uh, satin blouses or whatever but definitely dresses and skirts I am all for in 2019 I've already started purchasing some and like I have some will say some saved in my cart ready to like slay this summer with all the satin so like I'm definitely 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 excited about that palazzo pants that is another one that I'm very excited about. Didn't get my hands on many last year, but this year I'm definitely gonna get my hands on some, um, just because like they're a perfect addition to your summer wardrobe. They just work, they're easy to wear, especially on super, super hot days when like you literally just wanna be naked, but you can't. So Palazzo pants work so well, and like I'm so excited and ready for Summer. So there's some of the trends that I've been seeing that I don't know too much if like I'm for or not yet, but definitely this season there's a lot of tie-dye. Tie-dye skirts, tie-dye dresses, tie-dye cord sets, like there's so much tie-dye going on and like I don't know if like I'm here for the tie-dye just because it is such a unique thing and it like doesn't transfer into all other seasons so I don't know if like I'm for it or not like I don't know I have like one tie-dye thing that I got and it's a tie-dye sweater and that I could wear again because like winter here in Toronto are like super long but in general I don't know if I'm really feeling the tie-dye thing that much another trend that I'm seeing that I don't know if I'm on board with yet is a lot of like this bohemian style um, a lot of like like wooden things, a lot of wooden bags, a lot of like just very bohemian, um, earthy kind of tones that I'm seeing a lot of this season. And like, I don't know if like I'm for that. Cause like, what am I supposed to do with a wooden straw bag? at the end of the summer in 2019. You know what I mean? And sometimes those trends come back, but like how often do those kind of trends come back? So like I am I like it, but like I don't know if it's for me and if it's something that like I'll partake in. Cause like I'm not someone who just because a trend's happening that I'm just gonna take part in it. If it's like dope, then obviously I'm gonna take part in it. But like the, the bohemian wooden, earthy situation I don't know if I'm like all for it yes oh my gosh I don't know how I could forget about this one um, off the shoulder or like one shoulder tops dresses um, like blouses I've been seeing a lot of that lately and I'm like oh okay wait that's the trend that I'm actually excited and like ready for because it's been a while since you've seen like any like asymmetrical or one shoulder what do you call them cold shoulders one shoulder strap tops and stuff um, so I'm kind of like looking for some that will like flatter my body type I don't like anything that's super hugging and fitting and a lot of the ones that I've seen are very like fitted to the body but I don't know I saw like this one dress on H&M it's a black dress and it's like one shoulder and I'm just like I don't know and then I saw another one that was like a white that was off the shoulder oh my god it was so pretty and it was a hundred bucks and like it flew off the friggin online in like seconds so like I'm looking for certain pieces that I that are timeless and that I can transition into summer 2020 2021 that kind of thing so I'm definitely excited for the one strap one shoulder trend the last trend that I'm actually so excited about is like small little cute bags um, I'm all here for it I love them um, I've like downsized a lot. I used to carry really, really big bags, and I just feel like, what do I need that urgently that I need to have a huge ass bag for? So I'm all for like the really small, cute, compact bags that are like crossbody, that are small, that are like easy to just get around. They're not in your way, they're not clunky. So, like, I'm definitely excited and ready for summer 2019 all right guys so that is it for some of the trends that like i'm for that i'm like seeing that i don't know if i'm really about um i'm really excited for this for this summer that one of the 
a good place to look for um, to see what the trends that are coming out is definitely Zara. Zara's on top of trends and um, you could always gauge what the trends are going to be like when they transition from winter into spring and summer. So that's where usually I get a lot of my inspiration is through there. And also on H&M. Um, H&M does it as well. But I feel like Zara is the first from what I look through to really transition and show you what the trends are going to be. So definitely look out on Zara even if you don't shop on Zara it's a good place to see like what trends are happening and what's really going on so that's kind of my little secret and tidbit into kind of figuring out and seeing what trends are going to happen all right guys so that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys